here today is not only because I want to share the story of some great rums with you, but also um, as a rum lover, um, and I've been a rum lover ever since I was about four days old, according, oh, sorry, <laughs> according to from Africa and the Caribbean region. Pretty much, that's it. Two different regions, two different areas, and we're the world's first because nobody, funny enough, for some reason, no one actually said, let's, let's blend a rum from Africa and the Caribbean. There's lots of rums blended in the Caribbean. Lots of rums blended from the Caribbean and taken other places to other countries and blended there. But we said, let's do something different. Let's get some rums from the African continent, send to the Caribbean, and blend it. And that's what we have with Equiano. Uh, two different types of casks. But we'll get into that as we go into the taste. A world-class rum. I say world-class because when you look at some of these world-class spirits, they normally have one thing in common. They are natural, as, as natural as possible, as in fermentation, distillation, into a barrel, and then time to get your flavor. And then the skill of the blender, when she puts things together and blends it from this cask here or that cask there, that is world-class spirits. All these top spirits win awards because they seem as world-class. I mean, I love Bailey's. Unfortunately, he hasn't won an award as the world's best, whatever, but I love Bailey's. But it's got a lot of sugar inside there, and I know it's not great for me, but it's really nice at Christmas when you're drinking loads of that, of the ice cream and things like that. At least I know what's in Bailey's. So we wanted to create a spirit that was like that, was untouched. The only thing in there is a lot of love, time, all that natural aging of two barrels for our rums. Yeah, no sugar, no spices, everything you get from there is all natural. And that's why we call it a world-class spirit. And we enter a couple of awards. We don't enter many awards. We enter a few awards just to validate ourselves with some of the, uh, the spirit experts out there. And every award we've entered, especially the original, we've won a gold medal. Now, we've obviously paid the judges well. But <laughs> we can talk about we won a gold medal in every competition we've entered in as a, a new, just over two-year-old brand as such. So it, it shows, it puts us in high esteem when we're sat side by side by with some of the best rums in the world. This was the year when we launched, 2020, at the International Wine and Spirits Competition, the oldest spirit competition in the world, where they have top judges from all over, from all over the spirits industry. And we were named as one of the nine best rums on the planet. And when you look at these brands, we see companies like Trovier from Martinique, 200 years old, Le Monet, 150 odd years old, Foursquare and Velier and Rumbar, established brands from Barbados and Jamaica. And then little tiny Equiano sitting there as a, as a new kid on the block. So we see ourselves sitting side by side with some of the best spirits, not only best rum, best spirits in the world. So we're so happy, we're so chuffed that some people like our juice. So I think that's important if you like your juice. And then the name. The name, again, is an important part. 
of the branding. I'll tell you it's a little, little secret. Well, it's not that a secret. I've told other people, but just don't tell anyone else. I've been very selfish <laughs> when it came to the naming of this brand. And one of the reasons why is because my name's in it, Ian. But no, that's not, <laughs> that's not the reason. Not the reason. What it is, is as a bartender, as a person who drinks, loves drinks, and just looking at the world in today's climate, check the back bar and ask how many of those spirits in there are named after a woman. 